Delivering the keynote address during the launch, Member of Parliament for the constituency, Richard Kwame Sife, indicated that a total of 210 artisans, including masters and madams, with 1,000 apprentices, are involved in the exercise. The MP disclosed that prior to the launch, the apprentices had already begun their skill training program from July 1, 2021, and are expected to complete within two to three years. He said checks have been made available to 47 skilled trainers, which represent payments for 225 apprentices. The legislator further stressed that additional checks would be made available to 75 skilled trainers for the training of 400 apprentices in November and December. Honorable Sefer added that the last part of the payment will be made in January and February 2022 to trainers for the training of 375 apprentices. Where we are now, as a country, as a continent, as the world, we are no more living by the dictates of uh, uh, pure or formal education. Rather, we should be hovering around technical vocational education. That has motivated me for me to launch this program. And truly, truly, to for now, we have thousands of the youths uh, that we are putting through. And as you can see today, uh, about, uh, uh, about 225 of them their checks were ready and we paid the madams and we are praying that as days go by we will be able to raise uh, enough ma uh, money to pay the remaining madams and the massacre persons who are there to pay. Touching on the progress of the program, the lawmaker said a snap check on some shops revealed that the trainees are doing well under the various models. Just about four months ago that we began this program, some of the apprentices are already becoming small madams and small masters. They are already show, uh, showing and al already showing some of the skills that they are, uh, they are learning. A snap check on some of the shops revealed that some of the apprentices are sewing dresses that even some of which they wear to this place. I thank God that through me and through the instrumentality of those benevolent people and the prayers from our uh, pastors, this program is becoming functional. Some beneficiaries who were excited about the program used the occasion to express their gratitude to the Member of Parliament. We, the youth, we just finished GHS, we have no one to take care of us. So because he brought this, that's why we are very, very happy about this.